primary primary love language is like physical touch it's really really tough for them to be in a relationship because they want more they want something more because like quality time is not enough for them mm-hmm. so they need to touch or to touch the person they need to talk to that person face to face and like you know it's it's really hard for them to maintain the relationship and like you know online or long distance relationship everyone welcome back to my podcast thanks to everyone of you who listen and learn from this podcast today we are going to talk about virtual relationship or online relationship in the world where technology has become an integral part of our lives it is no surprise that our quest for love and connection has migrated to the digital landscape online relationships and dating platforms have transformed the way we meet, interact, and from the connection with potential partners. But with this digital world comes a whole new set of challenges and opportunities to build a relationship in online. Throughout this episode, we will hear story of love found and lost in the virtual realm, explore the unique dynamics of online relationship, and also the tips and tricks for navigating the ever evolving world of online dating. So let's get started. Please welcome to the podcast, my dear friend, Sydney. Hi, Sydney. How's it going? Uh, um, thank you. Um, I'm pretty good. Yeah, thank you for having me here. Yeah, thank you very much. Really happy to having you here. So today we are going to talk about relationship so what are the key differences between online relationships and traditional in-person relationship well traditional relationship i think it's more on physical attractiveness which is like when you see the person and you find a a person like girl or boy whatever whoever like kind of attractive like have a sexy body beautiful eyes beautiful hair so that's how you start liking someone well when it comes to online relationship you know they are more more into they rely into their emotion which is the you know intuitiveness or something like that which is shape like you know like you know um like you know they're kind of talking to the person in virtual because they might be thinking that the girl because they attract because of their voices you know because it's happened a lot of time when you're talking to someone and you feel like oh this kind of this kind of, this people kind of this person kind of interesting because his voice is good I mean the way he talks to you or you know something like that and yeah I think that's you know that's the you know the differences between online and re- uh, relationship and traditional and also in online relationship you need to be more I don't know you need to be more like you need to be more careful because you know there's a lot of things that might be happening in online relationship so that's I think the the differences like the I say like traditional you can touch your your partner and you can communicate with them through talking face to face but when it comes to online it's more on you know talking over the phone over the camera or something like that uh-huh. so using only the technology like phone call <laughs> video call uh-huh. using the technology to meet each other so just only in virtual and because of the technology right now like a lot of dating dating apps and also platform it is it's really hard to avoid meet people in online so if we talk a lot with people especially as opposite gender it's really easy to attract each other right now Is that true, right? Uh, yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true because, yeah, I do believe that opposite gender attracts together. So, like, it's happened to me. I mean, I've been experiencing a lot of, you know, I'm talking to a lot of people. And as I noticed, when I talk to someone, which is a guy, probably really, we, we most of the time have a really conversation um, compared when I'm talking to girls because I think girls is more reserved and 
you know you need to be careful about your wordings and the way you act because they might be so they are so fragile you know mm-hmm. so yeah but when compared to when you're talking to the guys they are more open-minded you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and they're so much fun though there's so much fun a fun when you're talking to opposite gender like you know yeah it's good mm-hmm. So it's actually it's much better, it's much better traditional uh, in-person relationship, right? But what do you think about online or virtual relationship? Is maybe will end up until the end of the story in marriage relationship, or just only for fun? Well, well, actually, if you're you're really serious about your partner and you you're thinking, or maybe you're imagining yourself being with that person for the rest of your life, then it's possible that you're gonna have it forever. You know, it's depend on how you seriously in, engage in a relationship through online. Um, yeah, because I have like I have a few friends, which is like they are now living in other other cities, but. Um, I have two friends of mine, they already got married and they, you know, they met their partners uh, through, like, you know, online kind of thing. Um, yeah, and there's, there's, everything is, like, possible if you're really serious or if you really love that person. Distance is not a problem at all, you know. Distance is not, you know, a, an obstacle. If you are really love each other, you might find a The, the ways to be together again even even though it's difficult you know okay so uh in online relationships probably just for the beginning to build the relationship but uh, mm-hmm. how about the step how about the steps from the beginning how to build the online or virtual relationship well uh, uh, like for me to be honest in my own experience but uh, i think The only thing that you need to do first is like you need to up like have a uh, open communication, you know. Through open communication, you talk about a lot of things, and you know you are you are there's no kind of like boundaries. Like you should be like if your partner, for example, had a problem and um, he told you like um, you know what today I'm so sad because it's happened this and that. So you you ask yourself you as your partner you might be like oh you really appreciate the value you know, the time that's given to you like you know that telling you that you know I have I had been through a lot of this and that and um, I didn't know what to do by doing that you care I mean the person really trusted you and of course because you 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 understood how he feel or how she felt and he's he's in something difficult. And you are you feeling like oh I'm so lucky I trust this person now because he's telling me everything like he's telling me his problem and you know it, it seems like he trusts me so yeah at at that time you develop your trust also to that person mm. and also communicating is really important to a uh, long distance relationship it's because that's the only way to you know to make the relationship you know better stronger and You know, like that, that's the that's the only way for you to you know to be together. Like you have this kind of connectivity, connectiveness because of the communication. And what I'm saying is like online, like um, communication. Oftenly, it's because like um, if you're hiding someone, if you're hiding to each other. So I don't know if that's relationship like you know like a work. Because, as I said, being in a long-distance relationship, online relationship is really hard. Because you don't know exactly what that, what's your partner doing at this moment, where she go, like, who he or she been talking. And it's really hard for you, like, uh, it's really hard for you to trust. But, as I said, if you have a really good band, uh, banding to each other, a good connection that whatever happened, even you're feeling sad or you have a problem, you should tell me and I'm trying to help you to fix it. So we are we are not just like um um a like partner just online but also we are also partner in solving every you know each of us problem you know uh-huh. that's how you build trust each other and also being honest like honestly and loyalty is really important as well because um 
if you're not being honest to your partner, so what's the point of re- being in re- a relationship? Like for example, um, for example, your partner um, like do, did something like for example, there's a girl like try to seduce him or something like that, and he keep that from you. And then after how many days to figure out that there's a girl that likes your partner and you know it's got to like it's it's so sad you know it's like really hard to you know to 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 get the information from other people so when your partner telling you you know what babe like you know um there is the guy the girl and you know i don't know she's working that she's doing weird and she's acting weird and blah 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 and then you feel like an oh even though even though we are in a long distance relationship but uh, he's being honest to me telling me that the girl's trying to you know something that something to have you know what i'm saying uh-huh. so i think that's like you know that's how you build trust that you are communicating respect and yeah being honest and loyal to each other mm-hmm. so uh basically uh we have three i just underlined your statement that three uh three point first is open communicating second is being honest and third is build the trustness but <laughs> How to ensure that your partner didn't betray you or it's really hard to notice that if probably in the another side, your partner cheating on you. What do you think? Uh, Because like an uh, online relationship is almost same with long distance relationship. The boundaries is distance, right? Yeah, it's true. Well, actually to answer that question, uh, it's really hard to be honest. Like, It's really hard to trust your partner online. Mm-hmm. And it's really true, but I think, uh-huh. but I think, okay, you can trust that your partner, and you can definitely say that your partner is loyal to you. If there's a lot of actual varieties, how could you tell that your partner is really, you know, loyal to you? First of all, he or she investing a lot of time with you. Okay, like talking to you, calling, calling you, and you know something. This kind of thing, and then secondly, um, he's willing, you know, he's willing to listen. Like when my, like you know, when I feel something out about my boyfriend, for example, um, I, you know, sometimes it's it's true. Sometimes it's actually true. When you have this feeling of, oh my God, my boyfriend didn't call me, or what happened to him? Maybe he's, you know, she, he's dating to someone else. You know, I mean, we have this kind of like intuitiveness. You know, we have this kind of intuition, and most of the time, like it, it's correct. You know, and and also, I think you know you can believe that a person you can definitely say that a person are really you know loyal to you if there's no boundaries between you and him. Like you know, like for example, um, she's he's willing to introduce you to to his family and to his friends and you know you you're really like appreciable that oh my god even though we are in the long distance relationship or whatever only relationship but she's not she uh, he's really proud of me to be uh, his girlfriend or whatever boyfriend you know uh-huh. that's how can you say that this person is really really trustworthy and loyal to you as i said like you know, is investing a lot of time talking to you, willing to listen to everything that, you know, whatever problems, good good or bad things that happen to you, uh, he's willing or she's willing to listen. And, yeah, I think that's the, the, the main, like, you know, a varieties to maintain uh, a trust, like, you know, a strong relationship and, you know, um, you can say that your partner are loyal to you. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, nice. So, talking about dating apps. So even recently, you know, like Free for Talk, actually, the owner of Free for Talk had built this platform for learning language, but it, you know, transforms to become it seems stuff. like dating apps. Yeah, what do you think about this? Well, I think it's normal though, because that's even like you know, in every like. In different kind of apps, you cannot skip the fact that there's a lot of people who can have these 
yeah, mutual understanding, especially the person we're talking to, the person like most of the time, you know. And I think it's it's kind of it's kind of okay. I don't mind. I don't mind about that. And yeah, people are from different countries, and you know, you'll never know that you're talk the, the the person that you're talking with develop your feelings and something like. I think there's nothing wrong with that. As long as you didn't do anything wrong, as long as you didn't anything wrong to ruin the, the your reputation and also the, the application, I think it's normal. I've and also uh, as long as you, you know, you have this kind of privacy, uh, for yourself and to maybe to your partner, I think it's okay. Mm-hmm. I think. Like you know, in free for talk because of a lot of people talk with the opposite gender. Privately in in one room, just two of uh, people. You know, it's really easy in free for talking here to attract each other, to fall in love each other. You know, because like you spend time with the same person, the opposite gender, of course, with a long periods. So probably your feeling is connected each other. So it's like you are fall in love each other. It's really hard to avoid this thing. So how to prevent, like how to prevent, like you came here, a lot of people came to Prefortech to learn English probably, but because of the situation, because of the circumstances in here, they change their mind from learning to build the relationship in here. So what, what do you think about this? Well, actually, I don't mind to be honest, like, um, I don't know. Like if okay, like for example, you you want to, you came here just to enhance your fluency, whatever you want to enhance, mm-hmm. and it suddenly you meet someone that you know like you feel something special and you talk a lot. I think it's it's obvious. I mean, it's and there's nothing wrong with that to be honest. Like, um, it's happened to a lot of people. You know, it's happened to a lot of people. Like, yeah, talking to someone and they gotta be like attracted and. And um, there's, I don't know, there's nothing wrong with that. And being in an online relationship, it's okay. As long as you you know your boundaries, as I said, you know your limits, you know how to handle relationship, and it's okay. You know, to be honest to you, I don't care about what people say. And you said like, yeah, you can definitely understand that that people in a room, like you know, they are in a relationship because they spend a lot of time together, and most of the time they they, they spend time together, and you know, I mean, yeah, it's it, I think it's normal. I have no problem, and I don't judge people if they find someone that makes them special, or if they found someone like makes them happy, mm-hmm. and then. So be it, you know, as long as this application or as I say, the owner of this application, you know, not for bad to be in a relationship with someone else. I think there's <laughs> there's no problem with that. Yeah, yeah. But we have yeah. to know about the consequences, right? Because uh, online well, relationship <laughs> yeah, is like long distance relationship. We have to thanks for the owner of this platform because we can connect it, uh, people from another country. So not only for practicing, but also to build the relationship in this platform, right? But it yeah, depends. Like... It depends on the love language, you know. If somebody has physical, physically love language, it's really hard because it's long distance uh, relationship. Yes, exactly. You know, like long, like I mean, I don't know. Me personally, long distance or like online relationship, I build a relationship. I think for me, it's, it's the same though. It's the same because maybe because my love language is not is not physical touch, which which is also like it's actually important, but it's not actually important as you know the first you know like priority. Like that's like. The first thing that I really need to be in a relationship, the uh, physical touch. But it's really important. But I'm more into, I think, quality time. So that's why when it comes to online dating, on, online relationship, I can handle. You know, like it's okay without touching each other. I don't mind. You know, as long as you spend your time with me, you care about me, and you're talking to me, that would be great. And that's more, more than enough for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so somebody who has, yeah, somebody who has the love language 
quality time is more suitable to build the online relationship instead of somebody who uh, who have love language for physically touch. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, people who are like their primary people who are like their primary primary love language is like physical touch. It's really really tough for them to be in a relationship because they want more. They want something more because like quality time is not enough for them. Mm-hmm. So they need to touch or to touch the person. They need to talk to that person face to face and like you know it's it's really hard for them to maintain the relationship in like you know online or long distance relationship. So, if you are a physical touch kind of person, yeah, you may, you better not, you know, attempt to be in a in long distance relationship because you know exactly it didn't work for you. So, yeah. uh, online res- relationship or virtual relationships is probably happen to the people who who spend most of the time in online, right? That's how we develop our connectiveness to other people, you know. Yeah, <laughs> Because yeah, yeah. if it's like okay, like so example, when it comes to virtual kind of thing, like you know, whatever online relationship, you haven't met the person in real life. Okay, for example, so like for example, I talk into you, and then we spend a lot of time together. Although you are not intentionally saying that, oh, I really love to talk to this person because I want because you know I want to I I want him to be my boyfriend in the future. You never think that way, right? But just like it happened all of the sudden, it just like comes naturally. You know what I'm saying? It's like you didn't like you didn't actually plan to like or to love that person, but it just suddenly happened. It's because you have a really good connection. You have a bonding, good bonding together, and this kind of thing gonna you know like connect you to each other. So just only yeah. through talking, through the conversation, we are easily to connect it each other, right? So have you ever have you ever tried build the online relationship? I currently in a long you know long distance whatever online relationship. So that's why I can relate, you know, I can relate and I know I can share to you, share to you my experiences because Yeah, I'm currently in that kind of situation. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you are currently in the situation that you have somebody. I mean, you in online relationship. Yeah, the experiences is really sad. I know, I don't know. It's kind of funny. Like, it's kind of okay. It kind of good, but it kind of bad at the same time. Because you cannot definitely, you know, say that. Law, I mean, virtual online, whatever the relationship, like it's smooth, like going well smoothly. Because of course, when you are have a lot of trouble having like being in a real relationship, like like um traditional or whatever, like um real relationship, it's more even complicated when you are in the long distance or virtual relationship. Mm-hmm. Because you know your partner may be thinking that oh you're talking to someone and you know. Talking to me, what happened to you? If there's a lot of complaints, which is actually normal, that's how that's how you can tell that that person's really, really can end to you because like he is really kind of uh, concerned in every details of your life. You know, like hey, what are you doing? Oh wait, like some these kind of questions it makes you feel like oh he's she's he's really really like you know um serious with me. And yeah. Uh, do you have any uh, specific dating schedule or meeting schedule with him in uh, online? Well, oh my God, if when it comes to online relationship, that's really important. It's one of the most important things that you need to compromise with your partner. You need to set the the time when you're gonna talk, what time, on when. Or where, or this kind of question, this kind of thing you need to say because, as I said, communication is the only key, you know, to have a strong or whatever virtual online relationship. Okay. So yeah, because me and my partner, uh, yes, we, we, uh, we wasted the time to talk. If we have something in trouble, for example, oh, we're going to talk like this time, but I'm doing something, I cannot make it up, or I can, you know, I can talk to him at that specific time. 
So you should probably like tell them or tell him ahead or her ahead that oh I cannot talk at that at this time. So maybe we can postpone our talk like tomorrow, uh, much more earlier than than today. You know, it's like it's all it's all um everything was really um everything was be like you know uh, going smoothly when you have a really good communication. Uh-huh. That's why I'm saying that communication is really important. If if there's like if you don't communicate commu- communicate too much to your partner, I don't know there must be a gap between you and her or you and her. Uh-huh. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your partner is came from another different country. I mean, so you have a different time. Mm, yes, exactly. And um, you know, it's like this is what I'm saying that. You can tell that your partner is really, really serious because because of the time differences. This is the first thing that you can tell that your partner is really serious. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Because like I'm ahead like like two hours, three hours from him, and then you know, like, like for example, in my time is like like uh, like example eight in the morning, and his time like midnight. And he should probably sleeping at that time, but that but what he does like giving investing his time talking to me, uh-huh. you know, and that that like early in the morning, like and also like he's doing a lot of things, but he has a lot, uh, he has it's still like uh, a time to talk to me, and I really appreciate that. Ah, okay, well, nice. So, uh, what what do you think about your future relationship with him? I mean, like. Probably you are hundred percent sure that he is probably your your future husband because you start uh, in in, in I here. Think, uh, um, not to be honest, I never think that way. I would just go with the flu because I don't want to be like assumed that oh this man is I love this person and he loves me too and you have the kind of conclusion oh we're gonna end up marrying each other because it's really hard to prove that it's gonna happen. So I yeah this is what I'm saying like only relationship don't overthink everything okay. <laughs> you know you know what I'm yeah because there might be possibility that you get hurt because uh-huh. you don't know maybe there's something happened and the relationship didn't work for both of you and you get end of nothing so, and then you keep thinking that oh I love this person and he loves me too and we end up like you know getting married with each other what if they, it didn't happen uh-huh. so what's gonna happen to you so you're gonna be broken and you're gonna be crying and you're gonna be like having a miserable life it's because of that for me I never think that like you know getting married and I'm just really go with the flu. I mean, like I'm so happy right now, and I really uh, embrace the happiness that he gives me. You know, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know, maybe. Like, but I'm thinking like negativity, like oh, we're not gonna end, we're gonna gonna, we're gonna end up so soon. Uh, but I never think that way. But I'm just gonna go with the flu. Whatever happened, but good, they, I accept it. You uh-huh. know, but I hope that uh, we still be together. You know, um, you know, um, we're gonna be still together, like you know, as long as we love each other. Okay, yeah. so you meet each other in free for talk. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about in the beginning how uh, how both of you meet each other in here until you well, decide to build in relationship? But actually, it's kind of funny and crazy encounter because you know um i'm more introverted because you know like 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 i don't actually talk to a lot of people especially if they're not my friend so most of the time i'm more into like reading so i created a room at that time and then he joined and we start reading the first encounter the first impression was really bad because after we talk we talk after we read we talk a little bit uh, about what we're reading and then uh, he said something really bad that it tingled my ears which is i really dislike and um but at that time i already followed uh, we followed each other because you know we meet many times like i think five times at a time five times and then <clears throat> yeah then uh, there's one day that we read the books and then we talk about something like you know uh, related to the book and he said something as i said it's something 
like not actually bad that I but the things that I dislike. So I unfollowed him. Okay. <laughs> And then after that, he kept saying sorry to me. He said like, "Join my room," but to be honest, I don't have any feelings. Like really, like like normal friends, you know. And then I can easily dump you because we don't have a really good connection. So like it's like like a friend, like a dating partner, to say. So yeah, I unfollowed him because I really hate him so much because of what he said. And then yeah, I unfollowed him. The- <clears throat> she, he kept like joining my room and saying sorry. He saying sorry a billion times, you know. But I don't give a shit, you know. I don't, I don't care. You're not my friend, and um, you are not my friend, and we don't have a connection to each other, just a partner for reading. Yeah, but he kept like, um, he kept like saying sorry, apologizing, like she said, like, oh, I'm sorry for what happened. I didn't mean it, but yeah, please forgive me. Please follow me back, which is you know, I, you are you are a nice girl. I want you to be, um, I want you to be my my friend and blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. And then after that, like, after that, I feel like so pity. I feel so guilty because he keep, like, as I said, joining my room, and I know it's gonna. He his presence but bothering me to be honest at that time. So it's like, oh, okay, I will. I follow him back again. So we, that's the time it started. Like we talk a lot, and we talk about relationship. We talk many things about his career, my career, and everything. Sometimes our family and. Blah blah blah, and I felt uncomfortable at that time. Like, oh my god, this guy is kind of easy going, you know. And he can tell us a lot, and then, but I didn't feel anything. Okay, just like a normal conversation, and it suddenly happened that every time I like went the room, he joined my room, and we talk a lot. At that time, I realized, oh, there's something in this guy. You know, there's a there's a lot of things that I really like about this guy, uh, this guy, and it suddenly happened. You know, like we talk a lot and we discuss, and then, and then you know, it's a bit like he likes me, and at that time, it's like, oh, I don't want to be in a relationship because it's really boring and it didn't work, and blah blah blah. But yeah, he kept joining my room and telling me like, oh my god, I, re- I-, I really like you. I don't know why it just like suddenly happened to me. Like I don't actually chasing a uh, cheesy girl, but I don't know exactly what happened to me. Like I don't know. I I really like you, but at that time, it's like yeah, why not giving a chance because he's a nice dude. So yeah. So he is. So he is persistent guy. So you know, keep trying yeah, to yeah. coaching you. Yeah, you can say. So, what make you love him and decide to build a relationship with him? As I said, like he is, um, I don't know, he kind of, I don't know, he, 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 I don't know, like he's funny, and I don't know, I don't exactly. I, there's no words, just uh, no words to say why I. I don't know. Maybe it's because of if he is perseverance, perseverance to to talk to me, or uh, because like there's a time that I was down and he told me like, oh, if you have a problem, just talk to me. No problem. I can listen to you. Whatever it is, like you know, you can trust me and blah blah blah. Yeah, that, that's I think the the reason why I I like him. Yeah. Okay. Because he's willing to listen. Do you afraid about the future? Probably he gonna be he gonna be hurt you, or uh, maybe the question is, what kind of uh, precaution things to prevent the bad thing in the future in terms of relationship? Uh, I think um, I think I have this uh, thing that's running into my head, and I think. If we are we split up, I probably I'm just like the main reason was I will be like long distance relationship. But it comes to loyalty, love. I don't know. It's it, I, I contented. I'm contented with his love. But I think if we had a conflict in the future, it will be the the distance. You know. Okay. Do you have any rule uh, for your? Um... Relationship to keep your relationship in try to keep no to be honest I'm not the kind of person I can you know like I give him a freedom a freedom to whatever he wants to talk whoever he wants really you know? 
yes, trust me, I don't have any issue for that. So maybe that's the reason our relationship is kind of okay. Because yeah, if he talks to someone in a private like or in a room with each like talking to one girl, and it's okay, I don't mind because you know what? Because I trust him. This is how like definitely trust is really important though. If because you don't have tr- if you don't have if you don't have trust your your partner, so there's a lot of conflicts that gonna happen. That, that will happen because there, there's a lot of negativities running to your head. Oh, he's talking to the girl for how many hours? What they are talking about? Or maybe you think like, oh my god, this girl like maybe tried to seduce my boyfriend. You know, but I never think that way. No, never. So, how, how how to deal with the jealousy if your boyfriend stuck with another girl? Well, to be honest to you, I don't get jealous. Like, like there's like sometimes like I talk to him. Like sometimes he, I saw him talking to that girl, and then as like sometimes I pretend like, oh my god, I'm got, I'm really get jealous. You know why you keep talking to this girl for how many hours? Or blah blah blah. But when we start talking. I keep laughing like oh no I'm just kidding you know I'm not jealous you can talk to your friend but uh, yeah you can t- talk to your friends but there's a limit because we we need to talk mm-hmm. you can talk to your friends for how many hours you want but you need to you like you know have a time with me too because I'm your priority you know mm-hmm. okay so trust each other is one of key oh my god trust is really really important big. yes exactly the trust most important, important thing the most important thing in the relationship yeah. okay so it's allowable to your partner to do whatever he want like talk with go for a long time probably yeah. during a day or almost every day talking with another girl it's fine to be honest like i'm not a kind of person shocking my boyfriend like hey don't talk to this girl don't talk to that guy I, i'm not the kind of person i'm not a toxic one you can do whatever you want i give you freedom it's your life because there's a one world in my life mm-hmm. um i'm minding my own business mind your own business but if it comes to our time then you need to invest time with me and with him you know Mm-hmm. There's something that you know that, that that's our rules, I guess. Like, yeah, you can freely to talk to everyone, to anyone that you like. But if um, if our time to talk to each other, just leave the whatever rooms or whatever and talk to me. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah. with relationship in online, mostly uh, you can talk to each other almost every day, and then the problems will appear is about. Boredness. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. There's a lot of time that I, you know, I said like because you know if you're talking to your partner like almost every day, you know, it's okay, but it's kind of boring for me. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. How how yeah. to deal with that? How to deal with that? Because you are feel boring with your partner because you talk almost every day with him. Not almost every day, but. Yeah, um, we're not actually like talking like like for how many hours. We're just actually like when we get in, like we have a, a, a chance to talk to each other, and we're gonna be like talking about how are you, like how was your day, blah blah blah, something like that. And you know the thing that binds us together is kind of like music, mm-hmm. <laughs> because when we are together, like you know, uh, we, uh, listen to the music and then sleep together. You know, uh, that's all. Okay. Not actually like talking, 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 talking. No. It's happened so because of. Really it's happened because of you are lack of topic, or because you don't want to talk. Uh, sometimes I got tired and he got tired. I'm probably understandable, right? Mm-hmm. Like he it was tired. Also, sometimes I get tired, so we prefer to. Oh, you know what? Um, I think we better to listen to the music or just like, you know, um, watching. Uh, movies or for example because when you're talking like talking to your partner it gets you really bored uh, for me personally I don't know for you but for me it gets me bored but like, there's sometimes like there's sometimes that I lie to him like saying like oh you know I cannot talk to you now because uh, I'm doing something and so, uh, blah 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 but the thing is like I want to feel like I want I don't know I want him to you know to be excited when we gonna talk next time you know like they say like let your partner 
be excited. I like it's like the little partner missed you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because when your partner is missing you, they are they are the one who make like find a ways to talk to you, you know? And it's really really sweet. Like and sometimes it's like uh with example today when I talk and then tomorrow it's like Oh, like can we can we talk now? Like there's a lot of things that sweet, like you know, kind of was like, oh, like you know, I really miss you. I want to talk to you. Where are you? You know, <laughs> I kind of sweet to be honest. But when you talk to your partner every single day and say, yeah, I miss you. How can you miss someone? We just like talk every single day. Come on. <laughs> okay. It's kind of sweet, but yeah, I'm kind of sick. You know, sick of those kind of. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Okay. So talking about relationship is talking about commitment, right? You invest your time for the guy, you invest, you put your heart in the guy. So how to maintain the commitment, both of you? Well, trust each other. Trust each other and open communication. Respect each other. That's all I think for me. Mm. Okay, so come back to three things: uh, open communication, trust each other, and understand each other, right? So, um, how about the things that it's probably require if you want to build? It's for for another another people in here, and they gonna try to build the online relationship. What is your advice for for them? What is the kind of require before you start? build the, the online relationship well the only thing that i can say is like be careful mm-hmm, first of all be, be careful <laughs> yeah be careful because some people are trolls they're gonna be like yeah uh yeah they try to to get your heart but then all of a the sudden it's like hurting you or just do something bad against you um i think before you commit it Before you enter into any commitments, I think you need to know the person first. Ah, oh, okay. To know he's like and he's dislike, and you know, like you need to have a really, really good bonding, com- yeah, communication, and, and something like that. Because you like jump into a a relationship by not having a really good communication, good bonding. I don't know if it's gonna work. For me, it didn't. So you need to talk a lot. Uh, no, no, have his family or or whatever what he's like or dislike. So the problem is in free for talk in this platform, a lot of people using anonymous name, fake picture, and then they don't want to anybody else know about their their personal or private things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So how about like open communication before the build? A relationship is necessary to share the private thing. No, no, that's wrong. That's wrong. Mm-mm-mm. I don't believe in that because if that person really care about and really serious about you, he he didn't care about how you look like. Oh really? <laughs> trust me. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yes, trust me. But at least, but, but at, at least, least before no, you, but at least no, before no. you were build the the the, the no. relationship, you need to know how look yes. like. I think that's wrong because I'm that kind of person that actually like sending pictures to someone else blah 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 no 